Next question. I guess let's make this the last question. I see a sort of partially typed one in there. If, if that one uh, gets corrected, then I'll answer that too, but we can wrap up shortly. Uh, so last question, what is a, com oh, I see one more popped in. All right. Uh, okay, so we'll just do these last two. What is a compelling communication strategy to overcome existing perceptions of what I should cost and get conceptual buy-in, not only from my client contact, but also their VP and CEO before providing a proposal? I want them to accept my higher rates and not feel like they need to consider another consultant. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, you have the why conversation. You, you raise every possible objection you can about why they wouldn't do something cheaper. Like if you're worried about them, if you're worried about competing on price, you need to surface all of those objections in the phone call. You cannot address those in your proposal. It will not work. So you need to get all of that stuff on the table in the, in the phone call, Even, as uncomfortable as that can be. It's the, it's the place to do it. So when you're talking to them, you need to uh, first ask your why questions. If your contact can't answer the why questions because, oh, I don't, I don't know, the VP just told me we need to do this, you say, well, I need to talk to the VP. Uh, otherwise, I can't guarantee any kind of, uh, otherwise, I might be taking your money. You know, I need to know what you guys are trying to get out of this because if I'm not confident that I'm going to deliver ROI, you guys are going to be upset that you hired me, even if it's not my fault. So let's get this on the table so nobody's, you know, butt ends up in a sling because you ended up paying me a whole bunch of money that didn't really move the needle for you guys. So let's figure out what needle we need to move first. And then we can talk about whether or not I'm a good fit. But if we don't, you know, if we don't know where you I'm driving, you're basically just jumping into a taxi and saying, you know, just drive anywhere and I'll just pay you, you know. Uh, so the first thing to do is ask questions that only the economic buyer can answer which just happens automatically if you ask the questions I, I gave you before, because someone that's too far down in the organization is not going to know what the overall strategy for the organization is. So you're going to automatically get escalated up the, the chain to get to uh, the person who can answer these questions. And then with that person, you will be able to have with the right person an outcome focused discussion. So they will be focused on business needs. You will be focused on business needs. Nobody will be thinking about costs at that point. Nobody's going to be thinking about your hourly rate at that point. They're going to be thinking about the opportunity that their business will potentially capture with this project or a cost that will be cut from, you know, your intervention. So you, I don't know, you move them off of some horrible hosting company over to AWS and now that all of a sudden they're saving $20,000 per month. So you're either going to cut costs or capture an opportunity that's going to have a value to the person who is the decision maker. And if you can figure out that value by having these conversations and uh, you can, then it, then it makes, I, then I would be convinced that it's worth my time to put together a proposal. If, if I'm not convinced that they really want to work with me after I have tried to talk them out of it, then I'll probably say something at the end, like, I don't know if there's a good fit here, guys. I think the, you know, you know, your project is, is a good one. It makes sense for you to do it, but I don't think I'm the right person for it. I'll introduce you to somebody who either isn't as busy as me or uh, is more junior strategist or something, depending on what they're looking for. And I'll just, I'll just give that lead to somebody else if I'm not a good fit. So really, if you ever go to sit down a proposal, if you go to sit down and write a proposal and you're just like, uh, I don't know what to write, that means you didn't do your job in the meeting, getting all the information you need. So try harder in the meeting to get that information, uh, get to the people who really can answer those questions and it'll be, uh, the, the rates won't be as much of an issue.